Welcome back. I'm gonna remove... I'm gonna do this quickly so we can see the whole thing. We're gonna kick off Jadviga. Jadviga. I'm gonna learn how to pronounce it, hopefully, during the introduction. But this will be the second Dawn of the Dukes campaign playthrough, where we will be playing as the Poles and the Lithuanians. So, sent away from her mother and forcibly parted from the young man whom she loved, Jadviga ascended... Jadv Jadviga ascended to the Polish throne as a mere child. In a time of unending war, she must forge a future for her kingdom while contending with the wills of formidable leaders like Jogaila and Vytautus the Great. Can the beloved star of the Poles bring about her vision of a powerful, united Poland-Lithuania? Or will the incessant maelstrom of war plunge both realms into ruin once more? We'll find out. Jad Jadviga. The matter of the crown is the first mission. Our difficulty selected. Let's do this. June the 15th, 1399. You can hear a distant bell tolling. As the first light of dawn glitters on the Vistula River, an industrious friar. Somewhere in the outskirts of Kraków, hailing the arrival of the new day. Long before the priests in our own cathedral have risen from their beds. It has been a long time since I noticed such things, the little things of beauty that season our days of war and toil and make them almost palatable. But as I lie here, counting the days until the arrival of my first child, I notice them more and more. Perhaps they never went away. Perhaps being confined to this bed has simply opened my eyes to them again. Better is a hand full of quietness than two hands full of toil and a striving after wind. Sorry about that. As I write these words of the preacher, the mighty bells of Vavel Cathedral finally toll for the morning. Incredible, really, how the sound of those bells is wedded both to the worst and the most wonderful memories of my life. I came to this city when I was 11 years old. A lonely princess from Hungary, surrounded by guards, a stranger in a strange land. This kingdom of Poland, which my late father had left as my inheritance, was a country on the brink of ruin. A civil war raged, with every duke and petty lord laying claim to the throne, and my hand in marriage as his queen. It was not a prospect I longed for, but, on the other hand, coming here meant that I would finally get to meet William again. My William, the Habsburg Prince of Austria. We had been promised to each other since before I could remember. Once I sat upon the throne of Poland, we would be wedded at last. As the mountains came to an end, and the bells of Wawel Cathedral sang from Kraków in the distance. It was him I thought of. <laughs> what I wouldn't give to be so young and naive again. Love story incoming. All right. Bring Jadwiga to her coronation at... Wowl Cathedral in Krakow. Do not let the rebel dukes capture Jadwiga. Uh, one second, let me do something quickly here. Jadwiga. Uh, Jadwiga. Um, hints. Jadwiga is restricted to the castle age in a population limit of 120. Sometimes it is wise to run and fight another day, even if it means sacrificing some of your less valuable troops. It's Jadwiga. Okay, god damn it. Um, neither of the enemy dukes wants a fight to the death. If you subdue 
One, he will aid you in your fight against the other. Keep in mind that he will be a weaker ally for the rest of the war if you weaken him too much before he submits. There are several paths into enemy, each enemy base. The most direct approach may not always be the best. Scout the countryside, you may find locals who can assist your war effort. You cannot build docks in this mission, so you must rely on farming rather than fishing. Instead of mills, the poles build folwarks. These cost a bit more, but they also provide five population space, like houses, and automatically gather some food from each farm constructed next to one. Once either duke has joined your side, you can use chat commands to cooperate with him. Taunts 3 to 6 will tell him to send you resources, while taunt 3 to 1 will cause him to attack an enemy. Wait, what? 3 to 6 tells him to give you resource? Oh, 31. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. My brain. Uh, Jadviga and her bodyguards are on their way from Hungary to Krakow, where Jadviga is to be crowned Queen of Poland. In the southeast lies Krakow, the Polish capital. Its nobles support Jadviga and will provide you with men and resources for the coming war. Your strongest opponent is the Duke of Opol. He commands a large army from his walled city in the west. He will primarily train cavalry, heavy infantry and siege weapons. The Duke of Mazovia has constructed a forward base to the north. He will primarily send cavalry archers and cavalry archers your way. Throughout the countryside are various allied Polish villages and camps. Some of these might provide you with resources or help in your fight against the Dukes. There are rumors of other factions approaching the Polish borders. The Teutonic Order has been known to raid the region from time to time, and a suitor for Jadwiga is on the way to Krakow. All right. So here she is. Oh. She is very weak. So we have to be careful here. She cannot be captured. We have one bodyguard. Called bodyguard, not a wind hustler. Your Highness, the Duke of Mazovia thinks far too highly of you to allow the leaders of Krakow to use you as their puppet. Now is his puppet on the other hand. Okay. So I'm not allowed to pass there. Oh! Oh, this was not part of the plan. Well, okay. I guess that works. Okay. Well, not too bad. Uh, I mean, it looks fairly straightforward to get her there. He's running quite fast as well. No, I think I would remember decapitating this ugly bastard. <laughs> the princess's entourage cannot be far ahead. After them! Run! Oh no! Wait, what? Oh, this was not part of the plan. Come here, come here, come here. Yeah, yeah come here. Oh. 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 Uh. Oh. Okay, we have to do some uh, sneaky tactics here. Hey, what's happening here? Oh, this is blocked! Uh, well then. Um, oh shit. I'm still standing. I guess I, I should have gone this way. Uh, 
Hey, we're still alive. Yeah, that probably makes more sense. What could go wrong? You can do this, young Yadviga. Six years later. I'm not gonna restart until I'm... Like, you guys keep asking me to restart now. I'm gonna go... Why would I restart? I'm absolutely dominating so far. I mean, I just have to make it there, right? What can go wrong? This was calculated. Oh, look, we have Pikeman. Can I not enter here? I can't enter, right? See? It wasn't that hard. Princess Yadvig, I am glad and honored to finally meet you. Go ahead to the cathedral, your highness. I shall be with you shortly for your coronation. Uh, okay, let's see here. So, force the Duke of Opole into submission by destroying the two castles in the city. Force the Duke of Mazovia into submission by defeating most of his army. He only has 18 soldiers? The Mazovian guy? Okay, it's growing. Never mind. Okay, it's growing. The Queen seems to have taken the news quite well. Yet Viga remains unaware of our plans. She still believes that she will marry William of Habsburg. The truth will devastate her. I can't hear what he's saying anyway. I am sure that she will see reason. So they have a cheeky plan that I do not like. Put it like that. Oh, Don't tell me that I triggered an attack or something now. Would not be good. This building looks amazing, by the way. The Wowl cath Cathedral. Okay. It'll take some time for us to get up to a sizable force. Don't attack, don't attack, don't attack. Okay. Ooh. Um, guess we can go and scout a little bit. We need to destroy those two castles. We are restricted to the castle age. Restricted to 120 population. If I remember correctly. Uh, okay, there's a relic, there's a statue. We can build a monastery. Maybe get. Um, collect that relic. They said we will play as the Poles and the Lithuanians. So I assume we will be playing with Venus in a later uh, part. Okay, there's some army spread around here. Okay, that should have been another TC instead. Or a lumber camp, potentially. Oh, we got an outpost. Oh, this is where if I went this way. Would have had an outpost earlier. 
tu jestem. Jest, jest. Tak, jestem górniczką. Rozkazanie chcę wspomnieć. Rozkazania. Witajcie. There's a boar there. We can hunt it. We got some resources down here we can also use if we want to. I'm not sure if the army that was there left. But we have the opportunity. Oh. Don't like that. That's good. Guess. I would love to get to the old book. We do have stone down here. Obuk is a great unit. And I'm happy that they are just past. Ah, oh, we didn't get the conversion. Not the pavilion. No. What? He's not a monk. No. Not like this. Convert. Never lucky. Oh! We might have to make some units sooner rather than later. Okay, that works. We're dangerously close to enemies, I have to say. We have 36 military. We can probably... I just need to kill most of them. And then they would actually join my side. Easier said than done, but... It's possible if I just start making some units. I am greedy. I want to get to the obuk. Have to make decisions. Decisions, decisions. I guess I just want to clean that first. 47 units. It's not too much. Should have made those farms around the forward. It's okay. Let's just do it like that. Oh, they're like this. They, they, they're on defensive stance. They will actually get converted. Fuck him. Live. Nice. Okay. That was as effective as it could have been. Good stuff. Housed. Uh, build a castle. Let's just build it there for now. So we have the safe income and then we'll start making our obuk. And I tell you, obuk is an amazing unit. And then we can start thinking about taking care of the Mazovian soldiers. The barracks, we want to get the upgrades for the Obuk. 
knights. Oh, we have the Schlachta privileges as well. Which could be a very nice upgrade for us. Okay, let's go. I think the orange units were in there. Or there were orange units. Yes. Rozkazania. They're also on defensive stance. That's kind of OP. Oh, I can probably get control of these. Hello? Convert? Hello? No? Okay, I guess not. I can probably get control of these trebuchets, I reckon. Can I put... Oh, if I make them enemy or neutral and then convert their trebuchets? That's potentially an option, right? Unless I just get them by destroying these units. The Duke had us building siege engines for him for free. Can you imagine? It breaks my entrepreneurial heart. Now you, Queen Yaviga, you seem like an honest customer. For a trifling sum, I am willing to sell you these trebuchets that we built for the Duke. 1500. It doesn't say, I, I assume it's gold. Yeah, 1500 gold to the engineer. Mm. Guess I should do coinage. I could convert, I reckon, but I don't want to. Not sure if I want to take the risk to put put them as enemy. It might backfire. I think we have enough use now to go out and chase about a little bit. See if we find any any guys to kill. I, I realize I'm ending up in the same trap again where I'm just making unique units. But I mean, this is a good unit. It's fun to play with, it's good, and it does the job. I know you guys are spamming in chat now. Convert, convert. I'll, I'll do the, the campaign way. I know you can cheese probably and convert it, but I will do it the way of the campaign. Oh. Run. Okay, uh, do I send them 1500 now? No, I don't have enough yet. Oh, it's a relic there. Let's do it. Likewise. Policy. What? Which is that we have no return policy. Oh. <laughs> okay. Funny. I got a little bit of it. I'm glad I built my castles now. Yeah, we should be fine to deal with that. And we now have trebuchets as well to deal with these castles. That is great. Okay, we just gotta find more orange units, really. We, uh, he has 54 units remaining. Wait, does that count the yellow as well? Oh, yeah. I thought it was only working with orange, but yellow is, of course, Mazovian as well. So that's good. 
Tak, tak też uczyli. Tak, pojmuję. Natychmiast Łody wiedzą. Jakieś rozkazania? Jakieś rozkazania? Maybe some knights would have been nice to deal with. These arches gonna go back and forth every time I hit them now. Okay, let's do one more castle. They can really ramp up that production. For those who know, by the way, the way the Obok unit works is that it, every attack it does, it removes one armor from the unit. You can see now the knight has zero armor, or like two minus two. So you pretty much can get rid of all the armor of enemy units with the Obok. 48 units. They don't have too many left. I'm not bringing traps up there. I don't think I need them there. Uh, let's go. 51. Their numbers are growing. I don't like it. I gotta get on top of production, maybe. They're very talkative, this civilization. I must say. And maybe I should have brought trebuchets. Nah, for the alcohols, they look weak. We're good. Okay, I think I found their army. First is if I can kill an offer, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, maybe I should have gone for the knights. The Schlachta privileges. I'm backtracking. A combination is uh, is better with the Obuk. Obuk should be viewed as a uh, support unit where you also, like, because if you remove the armor, then you have, like, even skirms work with that. If you remove the armor, a fully upgraded skirmisher can do 7 damage to uh, any units, essentially. And that's pretty redonkulous. Gonna wait for the Schlachta privileges. And then a knight will cost 30 gold a piece. Which is insane. Too bad this one didn't have armor to begin with. <laughs> I think I have too many villagers. Yeah, now, now, now we're talking. Kind of blocking the path to the bridge, but it's fine. Oh, okay, that's good. Kind of gonna help me on my way. This looks like it. 33 remaining. Yeah, I think if I bring my knights across now, the knights will be able to finish the job. Look how cheap they are. Look how many I can queue up. Now, of course, I had a couple of thousand gold, or I had, I had plenty of gold. But still. I can't destroy player fires castle as well. I will do that, but I'm gonna do yellow first. I am committed. Okay, not having plus two armor yet. Bit painful. Oh, it's a castle there. Ah, oh, yeah. Let's send the traps. I should have just done that right away. Why did I make it so difficult? Twenty five units remaining. I wait for plus two armor to finish. 
Then we will go. Although I don't need the traps, right? Ah, we don't need them. Just the units, and we're good. 22 remaining. 19. We just need to get them down to 5, right? Hey! I shall accept the man that Krakow wants as king. Nice. So we have the Duke of Mazovia on our side now. Uh, by the way, you only take armor from the unit you're hitting. So there was a comment in chat that's saying, like, won't your allies be weak now? Uh, no, the new, new units they make will still have full armor. Not like a uh, thing where the armor is gone on that type of unit forever. Oh, what's the, the volume got stuck? Sorry about that. Oh, uh, that's more units than I had anticipated. I might have to run with my traps here. Although I have a sizable force as well. They're, they have pretty good upgrades too. Yeah, I'll take the castle and then get out of there. Or do I do I need to? Dude, I'm dominating. What am I what am I scared about? I'm crushing. What? They're so mad. We actually won that fight quite convincingly. Oh, here they come. Okay, here we need the Obuk to remove the armor of the Teutonic Knights. Um, uh, maybe I should run. That's a quite a sizable force. I could sneak around and trap the castle from the other side. Yeah, let's let's do like a detour here. <laughs> A lot of units. Lots of units indeed. Um, oh, they got those cool ones. Wait, you cannot convert them? Do they count like as a hero unit or what? Crusader Knight. Yeah, you cannot convert them. Interesting. Okay, how do I approach this now? I don't really have gold income either. Let's fix that. Um, I'm putting all my eggs into one basket now, aka Fabuchet from the behind. Are they chasing my traps? You're kidding. How, how would you know I'm there? Like what? Wait, what is happening? How do, they, how do they know I'm there? Go, please. I need to buy time. Sacrifice everything. I think we should have the time, though. They even have bomb cannons. Wait, where is the army? Okay, they're still there. Okay, we're good. We good. Don't worry. Oh. Attack an enemy now. Wait, wasn't that like... Yeah, use taunts to send the resources. Yeah, he ain't send me nothing. I will not see my city raised to the ground. Queen Yadviga has my allegiance. And so does whoever the nobles of Krakow have chosen to be her spouse. Oh. So I wasn't talking to them. Food, oh my god. Come, my brothers. Let us return to Prussia. The Teutons are pulling back, and both of the dukes have surrendered to us. The realm is at peace. Peace at last. I mean, like, oh, come on. 
this should happen automatically, right? When they become your allies, that should happen automatically. You shouldn't have to go manually. Like, how many people would go in here manually and, and uh, look at this, right? That should be automatic. Oh no, it's him! Two more weeks until we reach Krakow. I shall finally lay eyes on my bride. Dude, she's 11 years old, or 12. She's 11 years old. It was at the end of the war that William arrived outside the castle gates. When I heard the news, it was as though a pulse of sunlight came from my heart, and I ran to meet him, only to see him surrounded by my own guards. I threw myself at the gate, but the guards pulled me away, and William disappeared in a crowd of uniforms and glittering steel. The Archbishop, his otherwise kind eyes, gray and hard, spoke almost in a whisper, as if the words stung his throat. Your marriage to Prince William has been annulled, my queen. We have found a more suitable king for Poland. His name is Jogaila, Duke of Lithuania. I felt my heart shatter. The noblemen of Kraków had never intended to honor my vows to William as they didn't want Poland to fall under Habsburg influence. And so they had made a secret deal with Jogaila of Lithuania. A deal they now expected me to fulfill. For a long time I insisted that I would marry my William. But after many days and nights, in tears and in prayer, I could see no other way out than to break that vow. I would trade my own happiness for the happiness of the Polish people. I would marry Jogaila, the pagan duke, and do my duty as queen. God forgive me. He was bad, man. Damn. Harsh life. We're being hit, hit right in the fields here. I thought this was a war game, so did I. Gonna hit right in the fields. Relic in the corner. Don't think there's anything else specifically standing out. Obok looks cool though, has to be said. Look at that hammer. Or hammer pike. Nice. Look at the details here, man. Like, when you just look at the seed workshop, look at the details. You even see inside the packages and whatnot. See the tiles through the window. Nice. We went through this. All right, so poor Yadviga. Uh, I'm sure we'll, we'll uh, improve, though. Yeah, harsh life living like that back in the past. Poor William, though. Who knows? Maybe we have a happy ending in the end. We'll find out. I don't know the story here or anything, so we'll see. But that was the first chapter of Yadviga. Hope you enjoyed, YouTubes. I'll see you guys next time for Star of the Poles.